It has been a perfect splashdown and return to Earth. They had uh, very early uh, pictures of the capsule in the middle of the night with special infrared camera from a military aircraft. And uh, the, the capsule landed exactly on time in the Gulf of Mexico, in the northern part of Florida, where the weather was uh, absolutely perfect, no waves. It, it looked like a lake or a swimming pool. So uh, it was much easier for the uh, recovery uh, teams uh, to get to the capsule and to bring the capsule on board the special, uh, the special boat uh, of SpaceX. And right now, the, the astronauts are coming out uh, on a stretch, uh, in a horizontal way, um, out of the capsule after almost six months in orbit. Now, as I was saying, this is the first U.S. nighttime splashdown since 1968. What risks are involved with such a return in darkness? How dangerous is that? It could have been dangerous because, uh, of course, in case of bad weather or a problem of propulsion, it happens sometime in other uh, mission, Russian mission, for example, you don't land where it's expected. So in that case, the recovery is much more difficult, and it happened in the history of um, um, night landings like in Russia in 1967 on a Soyuz, they fall in a lake and it took nine hours to find the capsule. And uh, so it, it's not, of course, it's much more difficult. But obviously, uh, NASA and SpaceX, SpaceX being the, 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 the company, the private company the, uh, that organize the new operational flights for NASA, and it shows that it was uh, they are able to do it exactly as expected uh, with a perfect uh, launch six months ago and a, a perfect landing. So the system of SpaceX is totally operational. And that's the first commercial mission. There was already one test mission. And uh, the second one is ongoing with the new crew, which arrived last week with Thomas Pesquet on board the space station. The 